Minecraft has a long history of creating progressive and unique effects. What is the process of bringing an idea from paper to stage? Well, excellent question. Usually an idea will come to me when I should be sleeping or when I'm trying to sleep. And I'll try to jot down some notes on my little phone or something. Then usually the next step is to start sort of drawing an idea of the circuit, whether that's actual parts or more of a conceptual thing. And then sometimes I got to do some research and figure out how to do it. We're working on a pedal right now called Gears, and that was sort of a step beyond our robot devil that we made for a few years there. So I knew a number of the parts that were going to go into it. So I sort of drew that out and then combined that with a filter that we were working on um, for a dedicated filter pedal and maybe for some Eurorack modules. So sort of drew that out just as a concept and then started building it up on the breadboard. A uh, breadboard is basically a little prototyping surface so you can swap parts in and out without soldering them because the first time you try something it doesn't always work weird I know um, and then so when that gets working then you do some testing test on a bunch of instruments and then we go to Mr. Tom who um, makes my chicken scratch drawing into an actual schematic. Well just tell the people what you do when you don't have to build pedals at work. I don't have to build pedals I'm off times designing um, new pedals with the help of Ben of course. I do the schematic layout and the PCB design itself. From my chicken scratch. <laughs> right, from the chicken scratch. My largely visual representation of the circuit. <laughs> right. Well, okay, in particular, what are you working on right now? What's the project? I'm working on the dwarf cap, dwarf craft delay pedal that will hopefully be released um, <laughs> early 2005. That would be like almost 10 years ago. Oh. <laughs> right, right, right. And, oh, sheesh. and then we send that off to uh, the, another company called Osh Park, who will make us a few prototype PCBs. And then we wait anxiously for this little purple envelope to come. And then, what's in there? Oh my gosh, it's little purple PCBs, little purple PCBs. From there, you gotta have an enclosure to put it in to make it an actual pedal. So you gotta start with art. Because it's gonna need something on its face. I like to start drawing just, again, some concepts for that. Um, in the case of gears, it started with a very vague concept. Um, and then I refined that into a single image, then took that into Photoshop, messed with that, and then I lay an image of the circuit board in, in Photoshop so I know where to put the holes and things, then print out a sticker, put it on the box, drill the box, and then build the pedal. And hopefully it sounds like it did on the breadboard except better. Then if that works, we send the art off and with a bunch of technical drawings and lines and things for the holes to this company, Warehouse Guitar Speakers, and they make our enclosures for us. And then we get a full run of PCBs made and order up all the parts and then kind of bang, we're, we're in business with a new product. So that's the long story. Ha ha ha!